Hello and welcome back. As you know, my name is Zareen and today I'm going to be talking about chapter 3 of economics. In this chapter, we're going to be learning about the concept of opportunity cost. Let's move back to lecture 1. As we have already seen that the world is facing lots of problems due to scarcity. Our wants are unlimited, but our resources are limited in order to satisfy those wants. Now, because of this problem, we always have to make choices every single day. So, like I've already mentioned, we have to make choices every single day in every single aspect of our lives. So, the definition of opportunity cost refers to the next best alternative given up by choosing another item. For example, on an individual level, we have to face a lot of choices every day. We might want to buy a new phone, at the same time we also want to buy new clothes. But due to a lack of income, because we are very young, we might not be earning our own keep, we might have to choose between buying clothes or buying a new phone. If you want to buy a new phone, the benefit that we get from buying the clothes is given up. So if you want to buy new clothes, the benefit that we would get by buying the new phone is given up. So the next best alternative if we buy a phone is the clothes. So the cloth becomes our opportunity cost. These opportunity cost situations would also be faced by government, businesses, etc. Let's consider the example of a government. A government has limited budget. Within that budget, the government might want to make a new road or the government might also want to make a new hospital. Now, due to the limited budget, the government chooses to make the hospital. So the benefit that the government would receive by making the new road is given up. So because the road, our next best alternative is given up, this road becomes our opportunity cost. Now I'm going to explain the concept of opportunity cost through the term of a business. Now let's consider a business which manufactures shoes. The business has limited labor, land and capital. Now this business wants to manufacture both red shoes and black shoes because the resources land labor capital in this case is limited the business would either have to choose making the black shoe or the red shoe now if the business chooses the red shoe the black shoe would become the opportunity cost if the business chooses to make the black shoe the red shoe would become the opportunity cost now, as we have learned what is opportunity cost, the next best alternative given up by choosing another item. Opportunity cost is something that we have, might have to face in our day-to-day -day lives due to the problem of scarcity. We always need to make choices. So, I hope this concept of opportunity cost is very clear to all of you because it will lead you to understand the further chapters of economics. And that was all from my side, the end of chapter 3. Thank you.